Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. So um, I just sort of noticed in passing on Twitter last week, there was a lot of, not a lot of fuss, there was a bit of fuss being made about Immutable X doing really well um, in terms of its NFT trading volume. Um, so this is a crypto slam, so basically one of the ways of looking at sort of NFT trading. Um, Ethereum, no surprise, uh, last 24 hours has been the number one platform, um, mainly on OpenSea. Um, but what's sort of interesting is Solana was generally had been number two, um, uh, and sort of various other ones. I mean, you can see only two, only three of them are over a million dollars of trading value. Um, but Solana is now number two, and Immutable X is number uh, Solana is number three. Immutable X, which is a, a scaling solution, an L2 uh, scaling solution for Ethereum using uh, zk rollups, is number uh, two. And it's actually doing pretty well. So two million dollars worth of, 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 of trading. Um, what's interesting is while there are some sort of fairly big games on uh, Immutable X, so we, you know. Uh, um, We've got Gods Unchained being there for a while, card game, um, and we've got God, um, Guild of Guardians coming, and uh, Illuvium also, um, and they, those have sort of had spikes, or certainly Illuvium has had spikes as it's done certain sales. But if we look on this side, we can see um, actually the biggest NFT trading um, collection in the last 24 hours is this Immutaswap IO. And if we look here, the number here is pretty much exactly the same, so $1.9 million worth of Immutable of Immuta Swap. And the Immutable X is one point um, is two million dollars. So, so basically, the vast majority of NFT trading at the moment on um, Immutable X is this uh, Immutable Swap. So, let's have a look at Immutable Swap. <laughs> it's an odd sort of thing. Um, so, this is what it looks like. And Immutable Swap, in fact, is not a well. You are trading NFTs, but it is effectively a a, a dex. It is a way of swapping um, currency. So, at the moment, um, there is no dex on Immutable X. Um, partly, I think. Not being super technical, but partly I think that's because it is a, a ZK roll-up. So ZK roll-ups, the whole point is they're a scaling solution. They go very fast. They use complex cryptography, um, but uh, you're sort of doing stuff off-chain. Uh, well, yeah, you're doing stuff on a, on a layer two, so it doesn't have the sort of the full security of, of Ethereum. But then it sort of rolls it, it rolls all, a lot of transactions up into one transaction, puts it back onto Ethereum to make sure you have the security. So you sort of do have the security in, in a way, um, but also you sort of abstract out. Um, the security for a little period of time in order to get the speed through and that makes it pretty difficult to run uh, dexes as far as i understand it so so these guys are doing this scenario which seems to me totally bonkers uh, but what you're doing is um this immuta swap is you are basically exchanging cryptocurrency that, that's on the immutable x uh, layer two by buying and selling these immuta bucks so in this case here i could um five dollars worth of value i'm going to send uh two uh, six point two four five uh IMX tokens, um, and I'm going to get back in this case 3.82 Gods tokens. I mean, I could I could change this. So instead of Gods on Chains token, I could get some um, I could get some some USDC. Um, so uh, well, that's not giving me anything there, but there we go. Um, so so, uh, so so basically, you, you sort of set here what you want to do as a swap, 5% um, fees, um, and basically what you end up doing is you purchase this NFT, this Immutabuck NFT. Um, and then you sell it back. <laughs> so, so this is this is a weird thing that I'm going to buy buy this um, and then sort of sell it back to them. So this is, I think, partly a sort of a, a technical kludge to get around the fact that on um, on Immutable X you can't trade the tokens directly because of this technical issue. So the only way to do it is sort of go in and out of Ethereum with these massive gas fees, which is sort of ridiculous. So, so thus, you know, this is sort of, I guess, quite an elegant sort of solution. And we can see on the marketplace there's a whole bunch of these. Uh, if you can just go, so there's a whole bunch of these um, immutable uh, immutable bucks. Um, so they're all priced, you know, obviously because what what's happening here is they all have a value, but they're um, once you've created them, they're sort of locked into what you get back. Um, so you sort of have this kind of weird arbitrage sort of thing going on here. Um, so this one here, you can spend. You can buy this one in ETH, and uh, you can buy this one in. Well, then we can buy it. Have a look, shall we? So uh, we need to buy this one. Um, it's in ETH, and what am I going to get back? Um, it's listed in ETH. I'm going to get back uh, USDC. Um, so it's, it's sort of weird. And then the other weird thing they do here, which is sort of quite funny, is they use this um, because they have all these pucks. Is they use these as um, advertising. So so th this is sort of advertising a project on on. Um, uh, immutable X. So all these, some of these are just like like plain, but some of these have sort of graphics on them, um, and these are advertising different um, NFT projects. And to say you can kind of you can set these things up, um, so you can sort of hold them, and then sort of wait to see if the price of the of the two of the two tokens you're changing changes, and then sort of um, you know 
uh, supposedly, I mean, I, I don't quite know, I assume these things are right, but supposedly the um, the difference here is, uh, you know, <laughs> plus or minus, I presume it should be minus, I don't know, I think these are going to be minuses. Um, presumably no one's buying these because these are these are crazy deals that you're, let's have a look, let's have a look. if I can work out which, if it's good or bad. Um, so, um, yes, so in this case, the value is five USD, but the list price is, is 9,000. So, um, so yeah, so if they are, no one's, no one's gonna, ever going to buy these because these are, you know, uh, s s ridiculous. Um, uh, and these ones, obviously, it goes back towards zero. So you're paying a little bit of a margin on these ones. Um, but obviously, the way to do it is to do it this way and, and buy and sell directly back to the, to the sort of um, the, the exchange itself. So a bit of a sort of crazy sort of situation, and it's not really NFTs because the NFTs are basically um, trans uh, token transactions, which is actually a little bit like what happens in Uniswap. I suppose Uniswap now um, the the bonding curve is a is a NFT, so so there is some sort of parallel there. But it is sort of weird um, when lots of people are, are sort of going, "Oh well, uh, Immutable X, <laughs> really good volumes." Yeah, but that's basically because that's it's not an NFT trading volume. This is a Dex <laughs> token trading volume. Um, rather than NFT, so so there we go. Um, interesting sort of sort of thing there, <laughs> um, but it's very blockchain, isn't it? Um, people are basically trading NFTs to 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 swap currencies on immutable X. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. See you again soon.